Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com. We're coming to you live from the Heart Valve Summit in Chicago, Illinois. I'm thrilled to be here with Dr. Raymond Singer, who is the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at Lehigh Valley Health System in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Dr. Singer, thanks for being here. Adam, great to be here. Yeah, and so we were just talking, Dr. Singer, about a recent CDC re uh, release, and I was hoping you could help educate and make our community aware, all the patients out there, about wh what you recently learned. That's right, Adam. Turns out the CDC, or Center for Disease Control, uh, released an advisory to patients and to hospitals and doctors, and the FDA, FDA has also released recommendations regarding a somewhat unusual infection that may be related to people who have had open heart surgery. Mm. It turns out uh, that there is an organism known as NTM, which stands for non-tuberculosis mycobacterium. Now that's different than tuberculosis itself. These organisms may be associated with a machine that is often used in open heart surgery. Now it turns out it's not actually the heart lung machine, but it's a machine known as a heater cooler device. Mm. When we do open heart surgery, we often have to lower the patient's body temperature down and then rewarm them. It's a device that was made in Germany, uh, and this device contains water. Well, it turns out that these organisms are somewhat ubiquitous in all of nature. They're in the ground, they're in water. And it may be the case that this particular device that was made in Germany may have been contaminated during the production cycle. Mm. Now, what is the risk to you? Well, it turns out that patients who have had open heart surgery may have been exposed to this organism. That doesn't mean that you necessarily are infected. However, there have been reports of infection. Now, the CDC believes that the infection rate can range from anywhere from one in a hundred patients to one in a thousand. One of the key factors are whether or not the patient has immunocompromised state. So patients who have immunosuppression or immunocompromised for one reason or the other are more at risk for developing an infection. One of the problems, Adam, is that these infections can be very insidious. It may take months or even years to show up. And sometimes patients may not realize that it's due to this particular infection. The symptoms can be as simple as fever or malaise, or it can be as serious as infection of a heart valve or even infection of your liver. So what should you do? Well, if you've had open heart surgery, it is likely that you're going to receive a letter from the hospital where you had your open heart surgery. That shouldn't get you alarmed. It doesn't mean that you are infected. It turns out that there is not a screening test to determine if you've been exposed. However, if you have developed an infection, your doctor can do a test to determine if that infection is due to this non-tuberculosis uh, mycobacterial infection. The other thing I want to reassure all of your patients is that having open heart surgery today is very safe. And in fact, probably now today, more safe than ever because of the FDA recommendations, not only on the machine, but how to maintain the machines going forward and how to do the proper uh, cleaning. There are a lot of other advice that the FDA is giving and all hospitals around the United States are adhering to this advisory. So the bottom line is, it's a concern. If you have a concern, contact your doctor and or hospital and please uh, go forward. Open heart surgery is still safe and we are paying attention to these developments. Well, Dr. Singer, thank you so much for bringing this very important topic uh, not just to me here at the conference, but to all the patients in our community and giving us the reassurance to know that open heart sur surgery is still very safe and that uh, the FDA, the clinical teams, are working to fix this issue and address this issue. So thank you so much for what you're doing. Well, it's my pleasure, Adam, and thank you for all you do for our community. Thanks so much. As we always say here, Dr. Singer, keep on ticking.